Hey guys! Um, I want to talk today about something that's very abstract and um, very confusing. So I hope I can get the words out right and I hope you understand what I mean. I'm going to begin with the very bold statement of saying that I am both a Wiccan and an atheist, but still very spiritual. <laughs> okay. My problem is that I am way too rational. I'm a thinker. And with that I don't mean that I'm smart or smarter than others, but I overthink everything. It's my thing. I'm a Virgo. I'm supposed to be grounded and organized and everything. And with that comes a lot of thinking. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm too much in my head, uh, which is probably why I like studying so much as well. But the effect this has on my religion is that as a child already, I've always had this opinion that whichever form of religion you talk about, it was invented by humankind. Now that doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing or you know, yeah, a bad thing against religion, because it's not. It's just a fact that I believe to be true. Humanity invented religion, basically, simply because they felt a need for something bigger. It's, it's, uh, it's natural to any human being to have the urge to feel like you belong somewhere. We're a a group animal, so to say. So we want to belong to a group. It, When we do belong to a group, it makes us feel safe. Emotionally safe. We don't stand out, we don't have necessarily have to uh, make up our own minds or make our own statements. We can use the minds and statements of the group. It's safe. And from that same need of feeling safe through belonging by, by, to a group developed, evolved the thought of religion that there is something bigger that we together with the rest of the group can believe in and very importantly can do rituals for so we have group activities towards the same goal which brings, again, safety. Having this point of view would suggest that I'm an atheist. Because basically what I'm saying is there is no god, no goddess, no higher being. It's all invented by humankind. But, and here comes the tricky part. I go through periods periods in which I completely feel that there is this higher being and completely feel that everything is connected to each other and uh, completely feel um, Mother Earth, that she's there, that she's this living being of energy of which everything sprouts. But then there's the periods in which I overthink things and come back to the fact, yeah, it doesn't matter what you believe, it's an invention that helps us feel safe. And then I come to this combination of the two, where I'm saying, yeah, well, even if it is an invention, even if we made it up, who cares if it's true or not? It does the job. Does that make sense? It's kind of like with me and Reiki. I um, have a second degree in Reiki and even before I got the first degree in Reiki I already felt uh, like it was useless to think about the fact if it was real or not. What they say about Reiki, in case you don't know, um, 
Reiki, the word itself, means universal energy. And uh, it's an energy pool. Some call it the divine energy pool, or it's some energy pool, a universal energy pool that everybody can tap into. And that you then stream through your body into the person that you're treating, or into yourself if you're treating yourself. And that energy is going to stream through your body and through your chakras, and it's by sheer force of the stream of it, it's going to open up your chakras which will make it possible for your for your own energy to start flowing in a healthy way again. So that's, in very short, that's Reiki. And many people wonder, or there's, there's this big discussion about whether Reiki is real or not. And I couldn't give a damn whether it's real or not. I don't even think about whether it's real or not, because in the end, it does the job. Whether that's because it's real or whether it whether it be, works because it's a placebo, I don't care. And it's kind of the same with religion for me. Are these gods real or aren't they? So are they real or did I make them up to make me feel better? And then in the end I come to the fact that I don't care which one is true. It's working. So, that's basically what I wanted to say. And that's basically, if you look at it very raw, that basically says that I'm a Wiccan atheist. But I hate the word atheist. And like I said, there's periods where I absolutely believe that there is this universal energy. It might be that this universal energy is created just by humans uh, making up religion. <laughs> Am I still making sense? So because everybody is thinking in the same way, in either a same worshipping way or a same celebrating way, all those thoughts coming together create the divine. Now that's a new thought. See, I overthink. And with this overthinking, I come to this, these sometimes very strange ideas or ideas that might sound very strange, but aren't strange to me at all. <laughs> so, yeah. I think that was all I wanted to say, and I'm just very curious um, about other people's reactions to this. Do you think I'm a total bitch <laughs> for thinking this? Do you think I am... Um, completely ridiculous and I'm a, um, a blemish on Wicca for saying that I can be an atheist and a Wiccan at the same time. But I'm not an atheist. <laughs> like I said, there is this thing. But the origin is doubtful, sort of, to me. But, you know, there's many opinions to be had about this, I think, and I'm very curious to hear them. And um, maybe you have, you have your own take on this in the same direction, but completely different in a way or something. I'm very curious. So please, tell me. And um, yeah, it would just be nice. Maybe there's more like me out there. Yay! <laughs> okay, see you around. Hope to see your opinions and see you next time. Bye.